Hi traders, thanks for stopping by the tradinganalyst.com. This is Taylor and we're going to run through uh, a few charts here. I'm going to give my thoughts. Uh, when the video is completed, go ahead and visit our membership uh, portion of the site and you can sign up for a monthly membership. We also have six month or annual memberships. Uh, the features that you'll be able to take advantage of are the chat room. It's live. We have a private Twitter feed daily market analysis and watch list. You can also check out our performance tab and see every single trade that we've ever alerted. We not only give you the profitable trade alerts, but we also teach you how to take every single trade that we take. We teach you the ins and outs of technical analysis so that you can learn how to take those same trades on your own. It's a great opportunity and I suggest that you take advantage of it. So let's jump into the charts really quick here. Uh, First, we're going to cover Apple. A couple things I want to point out. We are holding the lows right here at about 94. This is a very key level. Okay, we've got to hold this level right here um, if Apple wants to bounce. It's a good sign that after the poor earnings reaction, uh, we have a hammer here. Okay, um, but these lows need to hold. If these lows do not hold, uh, Apple's going to be headed much lower. I'm going to show you the weekly chart here. Okay, oh, that's the monthly chart. All right, so the weekly chart here, as you can see, this level right here, this 95 level right here from the lows of these candles, the open of this week right here, uh, this is a very key level. So if we lose that level, we don't really have much support. Uh, until about you know uh, just below 80 about 75 okay from these candles right here and as you can see uh, the volume by price bars uh, not supporting much as well okay because as you can see Apple right here pretty much just went straight up okay uh, which doesn't provide much support when you see a, a stock trading like this that's why it has more support down here because it traded in this range for a lot more uh, time and there's a lot more shares that were exchanged in this range so it's going to provide a lot more support on the way down just like this did right here that's why this is a key area okay because we've got the highs of these candles right here and the lows of these candles so that's why this is kind of a big deal okay uh, gun to my head I do think that Apple will get some kind of a bounce right here uh, just been kind of straight down from 120. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't put it past it to, to break down. Um, I'm certainly not uh, trying to shorten the hole right here, but uh, uh, definitely uh, cautious on the on the long side. Okay, but moving forward, uh, what do we want to do with Apple? Well, we want to sell uh, into any kind of strength on Apple because eventually, uh, whether it's this time or after it bounces, I do think this uh, level is going to break uh, right here. And we can use this downtrend line as a level to short against. Okay, so those are my thoughts on Apple. I'm gonna run into, uh, let's look at oil. Uh, oil, um, I do think uh, that oil uh, is a really nice long here. Uh, we formed a nice base down here at 30. Uh, if you can get it down here near 30, that's a great entry. Um, I do think that it's going to pop up back to this downtrend line that formed from the uh, highs in the uh, last summer. But uh, I do think it's going to get uh, rejected uh, at this downtrend line once it gets up there. So I do like it long um, up until uh, that trend line. Um, and I'm just going to look at USO, so you can see, you know, for the uh, options traders, uh, USO, same kind of thing. Uh, I like about 850 uh, is where I think is the line in the sand. I like uh, oil, or I'm sorry, USO, long from the 850 level, um, and I do like it short once it hits that uh, downtrend line. Uh, same thing with the uh, WTIC. Okay, uh, we have a bit of 
resistance up here uh, near the uh, $11 range. It'll probably pop up there, take a pause, uh, and then eventually uh, head back higher. Okay. But again, keep in mind this is a counter trend rally. Okay. This is a counter trend rally. The trend is down. Okay. So the preferred trade is to wait until uh, it gets up here, if it gets up there, and uh, take it short. Okay. I'm going to cover Netflix now. Netflix uh, holding this support right here. It broke below the support uh, and then uh, it bounced today. And notice how it closed right above that support. I did not move that line uh, to, uh, to make this video. That line was there uh, yesterday. It's from the lows of these two candles right here. Um, and uh, a lot of trading went on in that range over here. So there's a key level for Netflix, and uh, it looks like it wants to bounce. Um, it's definitely in a downtrend right here, so um, keep that in mind. Uh, but I do think the market gets uh, a bounce, and uh, that'll probably help uh, Netflix right here. These are two key supports, 90 and 93-ish, um, and... Uh, moving forward, though, I do think that uh, Netflix will get rejected at this downtrend line, so maybe around uh, 105 or so. Okay, remember it's a downward sloping line, so if it takes a while, you know, the line could be at uh, 100 by the time it uh, makes its way over there. Okay, uh, let's see, what else was I going to cover? Uh, Facebook. All right, so Facebook here uh, closed above. Uh, this key resistance right here about uh, about 108 okay this was the heavy resistance okay um, it closed just below uh, or about let's see it, did it close above that so I have the resistance right here from the close of this candle right here and that's about 108.75 okay so it closed above that resistance you know not much resistance in the way uh, pretty much nothing uh, in the way of Facebook. Um, if it can tag, my line in the sand for Facebook, okay, is I want to see it hold this 107.50 level, okay? 107.50 is the line in the sand. If it dips below that, I do not like it long, okay? We're pretty extended up here. We're at the upper Bollinger Band, and I use the... Uh, 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 wider Bollinger Bands on my settings right here. So this is a, a very wide uh, Bollinger Band right here, and we're just at the top, okay? So line in the sand is 108. Um, you know, this is a really nice breakout, a pretty strong looking candle, uh, longer lower wick, closed near the highs. You know, I would have wished that it didn't have this uh, upper wick right here, but you know, honestly, it's it's a really strong candle on strong volume, and it closed above this key resistance right there. So uh, I like Facebook long above this 107.50. If it's below 107.50, I don't like it long. In fact, I'd probably like it short. Okay, um, so just keep that in mind. Uh, 108.50, you know, new highs uh, most likely coming 115 maybe higher. We'll see. But uh, again, this 108, 10750, that's the level that needs to hold for me to like it long. Otherwise, I think it's coming down. Okay. Uh, that's it for the video. Again, go ahead and check out our membership page. Sign up for a monthly membership, six month annual. If you have any questions, use the contact page and you can contact me there. Have a great night and good luck out there.